the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. A scripture reading is from Titus, the second chapter. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession, who are zealous for good works. This chrisman displays the Greek chi, the X shape, the first letter of Christ, superimposed on the cross. The white roses on the, the chrisman symbol uh, symbolize the birth of Jesus. Jesus is the Christ who gave up his life on the cross to take away the sins of the world. That's what verse 11 of our scripture reading is talking about. The grace of God has appeared that it is Jesus was born, bringing salvation for all people. That is, he died on the cross to take away the sins of the world. Have you noticed that people always seem a little more kind and helpful to others at this time of the year, the time approaching Christmas? Maybe it seems even more so in this year in the midst of our COVID crisis. Without realizing it, many people, for a little while at least, become more like what God desires them to be and to do. And that is what verse 12 of the scripture reading is talking about. God's grace given to us in Christ teaches us to renounce a lifestyle that transgresses God's commandments a lifestyle that is ruled by passions that lead us away from God. The cross symbolizes the, that renouncing, a dying to that worldly lifestyle. Jesus was born to live an obedient life before God for our sake. He was born to die on a cross and take away our sin and free us from death by his resurrection from the dead. That is God's grace that saves us from everlasting death and damnation. It is also the grace of God that is the power to change our lifestyle, to be kind and helpful to others, not only in this Christmas time of year, but every day of our life. That is what the rest of verse 12 is talking about. Live self-controlled, upright, ungodly lives in the present age. The power to live our lives in that changed and new way is from Jesus, who connects our lives to his dying and rising to a new life through the water of baptism. With Jesus' living power in us, our lives change to be what God desires them to be. And that is what verse 14 is talking about. He gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness, and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. So changed, we live with lives made new in the confident expectation of our blessed hope, the appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ on the day he has appointed. And we pray, stir up your power, O Lord, and come. Take away the hindrance of our sins and make us ready for the celebration of your birth, that we may receive you in joy and serve you always. Heal us in these days of pandemic and strife. You who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen.